Typically when connecting computers on a network, you use RJ45 Ethernet cables. That being said, some devices such as the Protectly Vault Pro VP6600 series of units contain these SFP Plus NIC ports, in addition to regular RJ45 NIC ports, or network interface card ports. To utilize these SFP Plus NIC ports, you normally need either DAC cables, that is, direct attached copper cables, or SFP Plus transceivers, also sometimes referred to as modules. But you may be asking yourself, what are these SFP Plus transceivers? What are the differences between them? And which one is right for your network? Well, SFP is short for Small Form Factor Pluggable. They're a compact network interface module format, traditionally used for both telecommunication and data communication applications. Like the DAC cables mentioned earlier, they give you the opportunity to connect your network devices in different ways, typically at higher speeds than with traditional Ethernet cables. As of the release of this video, Protectly offers two different DAC cables, a 1 meter cable and a 3 meter cable, which are often ideal when you want a simple, short distance, low cost solution, as well as three different models of SFP Plus modules, for when you need longer distances, flexibility, or fiber compatibility. Specifically, we offer the Base T, the Base LR, and the Base SR all of which can be used with the Vault Pro VP6600 series of units, the VP6630, 6650, and 6670, as well as some upcoming Vault models that will be revealed soon. The main difference between SFP and SFP Plus is that SFP only supports up to 1 gigabit networks, while SFP Plus modules can be used to set up high-speed 10 gigabit networks. SFP Plus modules or transceivers are devices used in network equipment like switches, routers, or servers to enable high-speed data connections. They allow you to use the kind of cable and distance that best suits your setup. The fiber optic cables that SFP Plus transceivers often use can generally transmit data over longer distances and are less susceptible to interference than RJ45 Ethernet cables. But not all SFP Plus transceivers are the same. Here are the three modules we'll be discussing today. First up, we have the Protectly 10G Base T. This SFP Plus transceiver is designed to work with traditional copper Ethernet cables, specifically CAT6 or better. It's compatible with the 10G Base T, 5G Base T, 2.5G Base T, and 1000 Base T standards as specified per IEEE, the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers, code 802.3. They're hot pluggable, meaning you can add or remove them while the system is running, and they interface to standard RJ45 Ethernet connectors. While this module supports 1 gigabit, 2.5 gigabit, 5 gigabit, and 10 gigabit Ethernet data rates, the actual data rate depends on the capabilities of the port it's installed in. For example, the Intel X710 chipset in the SFP Plus ports of our VP6600 series only supports 1 gigabit Ethernet and 10 gigabit Ethernet. Meanwhile, the RJ45 ports on the VP6600 support up to 2.5 gigabit Ethernet. If you require 5 gigabit Ethernet connectivity, you'll likely need to use a separate switch that specifically supports 5 gigabit Ethernet over RJ45. The Base-T is a great option for shorter distance connections, as well as connecting devices within the same room or within a rack. Next we have the Protectly 10G Base-LR SFP+. Unlike the Base-T, the Base-LR is designed for long-range connections, hence the LR part of the name, using single-mode fiber or SMF optic cables. For more information on both single-mode fiber and multi-mode fiber, Check out the article by True Cable linked in the video description below. With this transceiver, you can achieve distances of up to 10 kilometers. If you need to connect two locations over long distances, such as between data centers or office buildings, the Base LR is the perfect choice. It's also compatible with the VP6600 series of the Vault and most other equipment that is SFP Plus compliant. It operates at 1,310 nanometers the wavelength typically used to measure fiber optic systems, it's also hot pluggable, and it interfaces to standard SMF connectors. And finally, we have the Protectly 10G Base SR SFP+. The SR stands for short range, and it's designed for use with multi-mode fiber optic or MMF cables. With a maximum distance of 300 meters, it's ideal for connectors within the same building or across nearby locations. 
This would be the go-to solution when you need high-speed fiber connections, but don't need the extreme range of single-mode fiber. So as a quick recap, the base T is copper-based for short-range connections up to 30 meters over Ethernet cables. The base LR is a long-range transceiver for up to 10 kilometers using single-mode fiber. And the base SR is short-range, designed for distances up to 300 meters using multi-mode fiber. Whether you're building a home lab, extending your network across a campus, or simply connecting devices in the same room, there's an SFP Plus module that fits your needs. To learn more about these products, or to find the best solution for your specific network, check out our website at protectly.com, linked in the video description. And make sure you're on our email list so you don't miss out on core boot updates, product releases, and everything happening at Protectly, also linked in the video description below. Thanks for watching!